heard about the problems with the hoverboards, the falls, the fires. Now some colleges across the country are telling students to leave their hoverboards at home. At least 20 universities have either banned or restricted hoverboards on campus recently. I mean, you see uh -oh. all of these images. You can understand why <laughs> schools. That guy was great. He was in there with the fire extinguisher. They are on it. <laughs> one, of, one of the schools banning them is St. Cloud State University. Hmm. School sent students an email yesterday saying safety is a concern. Hmm. They are willing to revisit it if more information comes out, or maybe it turns out. You know, we have seen all of these videos of people falling and fire starting. And is it overblown? Is it not? We don't know. But many colleges are saying, Mike. We're, we're happy for you. You got a hoverboard, but leave it at home. I'm trying to think back to my days of sitting in lecture halls. Mm -hmm. If a hoverboard burst into flames in my lecture hall, that yeah. would probably be the coolest thing to happen sure. all year. <laughs> well, in a meteorology uh, class load, I mean, that's a science lesson. Right there. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you think about it like with bikes and scooters and all that stuff, it's parked outside. This is just another mode of transportation, but you're bringing it into the facility. Well, that's what you did with skateboards, too. Yeah, but those things aren't going to explode. No, well, you never know. But you have to wonder. You never saw how Kylie. <laughs> Do you shred? I, Do you shred the gnar? I've had a few times on a skateboard that it's going. Skateboarding oh, is not crazy. a crime. It is not a crime. Well, you have to wonder how many of these hoverboards actually are catching fire. So far, federal government investigating 28 fires in 19 states. That doesn't okay. seem that high to me. Well, think of another toy that is being uh, sold to like high school kids that has that sort of rate of fires I mean it's not a lot no question about sure. it but these things have only been around for a month you're like that's a pretty high rate of I I'm just a lot of fires. For, the, for the kids because I think this would have been really cool to go to class on a hoverboard. Would but it? I also would get it? in the <laughs> dorm room. You don't want that sitting around catching fire where students are literally packed in like yeah. sardines. Well, like the problem good. is these things are becoming more and more popular and more and more companies are trying to make them. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they're maybe not making them as well. And these are the There ones are a lot of knockoffs out there and that were cheap to buy and, well, maybe not working so great. But I think about hot plates in dorm rooms. I don't know. In my school, they were allowed. And there are way more hot plates than there are hoverboards, sure. probably. Mm -hmm. And you don't really hear about those being banned. I'm sure there have been more than 28 or 29 fires mm -hmm. from them. I, I caught my microwave on fire in college. There that you was go. unfortunate. What did you put in there that you weren't supposed to? Put my burrito in there with tin foil. Tin foil. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a life lesson. It We're was. depriving the college kids today of learning. <laughs> oh, man. Uh